Are you getting an osteoidal soon and don't want to make the same mistakes I did? Hey everyone, I'm going to be going over the worst mistakes that I did when raising Jackson. So if you're about to get an osteoidal or just got an osteoidal, make sure you don't make these same ones. Number one, not learning how to properly brush Jackson's doodle coat. There were a few times in the past where our groomer had to shave him completely just because he was matted, his coat was tangled. It's very important that you brush out your dog properly, make sure that it's not matted. And to do that, you have to brush them every single day, every other day. I use a detangler spray. It really helps in getting out the knots and the tangles. The link for that is in the description. I just get it off of Amazon. But I definitely recommend learn how to properly brush them brush them thoroughly all the way down to the skin because again, you don't want your groomer to shave them down and lose that fluffiness. Number two, not redirecting with the toy earlier to curb that hurting instinct slash nipping instinct. It's a good idea to keep a puppy chew toy at hand at all times so you can anticipate biting behavior and substitute the toy for your hand or furniture. Doing so will let puppies know what is okay to bite and what to chew. If they start nibbling at your fingers or toes while you're playing, offer a toy instead. Again, if they continue to nip, stop the play session immediately. If you've been training your puppy to sit, you might also redirect them by asking them to sit and rewarding with a toy. Number three, not teaching no pull on the leash earlier. So osteodoodles in general have a ton of energy. I'm sure that you osteodoodle owners could attest to that. But with that is their urge to run, to play, to be curious. And that could be really bad if your dog does not know how to loose leash walk. Jackson definitely gotten better at it, but definitely I wish that I started a little bit earlier just so that he can have that in his foundation. No one enjoys walking with a dog who constantly pulls. You can help your dog develop the habit of frequently checking in with, them, with you simply by reinforcing the behavior. Number four, not watching his exercise limit at an early stage when he was a puppy. So Jackson, I'm sure you guys all know this by now, Jackson has hip dysplasia but in simple terms, it's basically early arthritis. So I definitely have to watch how he's jumping, limit how he's jumping from uh, you know furniture to furniture, even going through the stairs. But even though that is mostly hereditary, I definitely should have been more careful in uh, playing with him and running around with him, jumping from places to places um, when he was a puppy. Definitely take it easy with your dog. You will be able to run marathons with your dog uh, after once their bones are fully developed. So please be cautious. I know they have a ton of energy, but there are other ways to use up the energy through uh, mental stimulation. And lastly, number five, not socializing him in public sooner. Given Jackson was a COVID puppy, we weren't allowed to go in public anyways. I definitely wish that I brought him to PetSmart more, to parks more, and just sit and uh, be accustomed to seeing people walk and the natures and the sounds of just being outside. I would have loved to incorporate that more into his foundation at such an early age because um, I definitely, he does, he definitely gets so excited around in public and sometimes it can be a little bit too much, but regardless, I think he's doing great. If you're about to get a puppy, definitely socialize them, put them in public situations at such a young age so they can learn how to behave and how to act um, when they are in that situation. But yeah, guys, if you are watching this and have an osteodal, let me know down below what is one mistake that you guys did that you wish you didn't. I'm sure it could help a lot of potential osteodal owners in the comment section down below. As a reminder, please hit that like button as it really helps in the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new here, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button too as it really means a lot to Jackson and me. If you aren't part of our osteodal lovers slash owners Facebook group, the link is in the description. We're about to hit 7K members. Link in the description, we'd love for you to join. Tell your dogs you love them, Jackson, I love you. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day. Yay, Jackson, it's almost Halloween. Good boy.